see you. Yeah, you too. Are you sweating right now? You know what? When I came in here, I was I was fully drenched. Were you wearing that on the I stage? Was, I was wearing this exact outfit. If you touch me, you'll be like, oh, that's disgusting. No, nah, I won't. I won't. I'm going to do it. It's like good sweat. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like moist. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you should How do you feel about that word? <laughs> it's like if I ran outside for like 20 seconds of rain. That's yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the I wasn't able to go over there, but I could see the crowd, and it was madness. Yeah. Literal madness. Like, how does that feel? It feels crazy. Like, festivals are always funny. Um, I just started... I literally started performing this year and it's like you do them and you don't post about them you, you just show up and it's like whoa like all these people just came because they saw my name on a flyer and like now we're all here together i think it's like the coolest part is just like festivals really give you an opportunity to reach people that may have not already been like huge fans of you because like, mm -hmm. like oh, i love ozzy like let's all go because you come in groups and then you know they can come experience it a little bit and get a taste of it and and then one thing I love about festivals is the fashion, not just the girls, like, because girls go crazy with the glitter and whatever, but, I mean, there's a whole men's fashion yeah. festival scene. Yeah, a lot of jerseys, a lot of Yeah, clothes. that's what we noticed, too. And, I mean, the jean, too. There was a whole America vibe. I mean, are you playing into that, or? Um, no. No, just kind of yeah, wearing your own thing. Just fell into it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, by accident. Yeah. But that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I like your style, so. Um... So we got to talk about obviously the single "Beautiful" with Camila Cabello because I'm obsessed with it. I already love the song, yeah. and then you added Camila, and I was like, "Okay, okay." I try to sing along, but I'm not good <laughs> at singing. Um, how did that happen? So we toured together in April, um, and just became friends back then. And you know, we always had a, a big amount of respect for each other. And, um, I knew I wanted to do a remix of "Beautiful." And um, I just felt like she really fit the, the angel vibe of the song. And I thought, you know, getting a girl perspective on the song would really give it a really cool twist. And um, she did her thing, and uh, here we are. Yeah, and she's amazing on it. Good, yeah, good choice on that. Yeah. Any other collaborations in the works you want to share? Oh, yeah. N nothing I can talk about right now. But, <laughs> but there are some. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. And then, um, are you, where are you headed after this? Um, I actually get to go back to L.A., I'm doing Ellen on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I saw that. So, That'll be. Have you ever met her before? Yeah, I actually performed on the show like, did you say two months ago, probably. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. Yeah. Two months ago, so she liked me so she had me back. She's there. amazing. Yeah. She's hilarious. She's so sweet. Yeah. And she'll probably try to scare you. I hope not. <laughs> I'm not that stuff. I'll freak out. She will. Well, if she knows that, then she's definitely gonna do it. Should you should just yeah. pretend that you're cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so while you're on the road or, you know, have downtown or whatever, we all have our Netflix watch list. What is on yours? So I'm trying to find a way to catch up with the new season of American Horror Story. Yes. It's not on Netflix yet. It will be on in like probably like a year. So I'm just trying to figure out a different way to get to it. Yeah. I love that show and I actually just caught up on the last season, the Trump season, which was like a mind crazy. Yeah. That's me too. I'm like three seasons into that, and then I have yeah. the next one, and then the one that's on TV now. I'm a big movie guy, big in the sci-fi. Not horror movies, because no, you don't I, like to be scared. No, I do like. I actually love horror movies. Oh. I watched one last night. It was like literally. I had weird dreams. Have you ever seen? Uh, it's called. What's it called? Um, oh, I have to. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> not Virgo. Not. Uh, mm. Oh, damn it. Here, I plug the mic, too. <laughs> um, dude, I can't think of it, but it's horrible. What was it about? It's with Robert Downey Jr. Okay. It's with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. Um, it's with it's about, like, this killer, and he, like, calls into the police, and he, like, tells on everything he does. <sighs> it's like, it's like... It's Is it, like, what's it on? Zodiac. Oh, Zodiac. okay, I'll have to check it out. Dude really messed up. So you like horror movies, but you don't like getting no, scared? I don't like being scared. I don't think anyone does. I kind of like, like it. Really? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, I, like, I really do like um, scary movies. Okay, so alright. Do you get movies. nightmares? Yes, I actually rarely have good dreams. Oh. A beautiful life, but I, it's weird. When I go to sleep, I have like really messed up dreams. Like, I hate that feeling. When you wake up and you're like, was that real? No, okay. It's actually kind of a nice feeling because it's like, God. Like, I had a dream the other day. This was super messed up that I had, like, done something and this guy was, like, going to kill me. And he had, he had, like, a. It's obviously everything in dreams are, like, way scarier when you're actually dreaming them. But he had, like, a tracker in my neck. 
and I like couldn't hide from it. I just, that was your dream. But in the dream, it feels real, and I, I felt the feeling of accepting death. I was like, I'm just gonna die, and it was so sad. It was so dark, and I woke up. And I was like, Oh my god! I literally. That's like that movie Divergent. Divergent. I think that's the one where they put the tracker in the. I don't know. Well, regardless, I woke up and I was like very, very happy. Damn. All right. Well, when are you coming back to Houston? That's what we want to know. Um, am I doing a jingle ball? Dallas. Dallas. Well, I'll be in Dallas. Okay. Well, you'll have to come down and visit. Yeah. Just come by and yeah. Of course. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. And now it's time to party because you're done. <laughs> yes. We'll be there too. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Come on.